for Nachshon, we say in Halel, the verse that refers to Nachshon, Hayta Yehuda Lekocho, Yisrael Mamshelotav. Hayta is in a feminine form. If you know Hebrew, the way you say talking about a man is not Hayta. Hayta is referring to a woman. It really should say, Haya Yehuda Lekocho. Yehuda was for holiness, for being the king, not Haita. But obviously, we know that there's every single letter in the Torah has meaning, and especially a word over here that was changed on purpose, the Haita, not Haya. What's the remez? What's the hint? Why Haita and not Haya? Why a feminine way of talking? It's an amazing answer, I heard. Avi Yisrael Donner says, the reason why the Torah changed the word of Hayita to Haya, to, excuse me, to from Haya to Hayita, even though we're talking about a man, is very simple. Where did Nachshon get the courage to do such a thing? He thought he was going to die. Where did he get that courage? To jump into the sea. He got the courage from his great-grandmother, Tamar. Tamar would have rather put herself in a furnace than to embarrass Yehuda. In the story over there, in Bereshit, in Sefer Bereshit, she would have rather put herself in a furnace and burn herself alive than to embarrass Yehuda, her husband. That power that you have, the guts that you have to jump into the sea came from your ancestor Tamar. And that's, he is the example for all generations of someone who didn't look back, who did what is right in the eyes of Hashem, jumped into the ocean without turning back. May we learn from the courage of Nachshon, not only for Shiduchim, for any circumstance in life, we have an opportunity, even for secular matters, jump for it. Doubt kills the person. Doubt. It's doubtful. Should I take the chance? Should I not take the chance? Go for it. Just do it. May Hashem light up the way. May Hashem send Shiduchim to everyone. May we all have clarity in our endeavors of life. Thank you for joining me on Tony Time.